Greetings everyone and welcome to yet another ST gaming video and uh, we're gonna take a look at a game called After the War published by Dynamic in 1989 or 1990 and uh, yes I'm uh, gonna have a look at another Dynamic game not quite sure why I keep doing this to myself but uh, yeah the Dynamic games often look rather nice and I sure do like me a pretty game <laughs> so uh, yeah, it looks nice, but I'm not so sure about the gameplay, but let's just be somewhat optimistic, all right? And the artwork for the cover and the ad has been done by Luis Royo, and it looks pretty cool. And the in-game graphics involve Snatch Show and two other artists, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna look nice, we know that much. So let's just dive in and uh, see if the uh, graphics can match the gameplay, shall we? And here's some uh, sampled music that sounds pretty clean. I think it's just basically a sample loops that's been pieced together. So it sounds a bit repetitive, but let's have a bit of a listen to it. Yeah, it sounds uh, nice and clean, but maybe a bit choppy, but yeah, not terrible. But let's just press space and get going. And, and as was the case with some other dynamic games as well, you have two parts and to get into second part, you need to uh, get the code from the end of part one. So we're just going to start part one and we might play part two as well because I did find the code online and I hope it's working but we'll check that out eventually and we're gonna have to use the keyboard at least partially here because we need an additional fire button to do kicks but hopefully that's going to be fine because I'm playing on a keyboard anyway so let's press fire to start and this is a really nice looking picture I'm not sure who that is but he looks a little bit upset I'm not sure why and that was a very it was very fast to start this game. And we have, um, we're in some sort of futuristic city after the nuclear war, I presume, and there's rats that actually do not hurt me. So that's, uh, that's very nice. I have started the game up a bit before and didn't really play, just checked so the controls were working. So we can punch with fire button and we can press another button here to do kicking. So let's just move forward and see if we can find someone to kick. Like this guy. And this guy. <laughs> uh, I'm quite impressed that these rats actually don't do anything. They're just decoration, it would seem. Oh, hello there. How are you doing? Fancy a punch? This is actually oddly satisfying. <laughs> I must admit. This is already better than I expected. Not sure why that guy had more hit points. Can we get up here? I did get the uh, the manual for this one. Oh yeah, we press space actually. So I have a vague idea what's going on. I didn't really read all of it, but I just read the bits about the controls and yeah, we have to punch people because this is, again, a brawler. Let me just check something. Can I, can I jump up here? Nope. As usual, it's not entirely clear where you can stand and where you can't stand, but yeah, it's kind of expected. Let's just jump up here. No, get out of my face. I need to get up here and grab this Statue of Liberty. Can I? Maybe I need to punch it, kick it. Not sure what to do with that thing. Maybe it's something I can't pick up yet. And these guys are getting more and more hit points, so that's somewhat alarming. How do I do this? Oh, extra something. That's good. It's always good to get extra stuff, whatever it is. Oh, dear God, that's a very angry radioactive wolf or something. No, 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 let me just jump back. Let me just jump back. Can I kick you? No, I can't. Can I kick down? Yep. Take that, you vile radioactive canine. Oh, go away. Okay, he didn't get... Okay, that kind of worked. I used my face to kill him somehow. Oh, I can jump forward. Yeah, the graphics looks pretty nice. And I, I have to say the gameplay is pretty satisfying. I think get up and can we ah damn you <laughs> yeah it's actually not bad it's kind of fun although maybe the controls are a little bit sluggish 
And it's nice to see that the entire screen is scrolling and the sprites are pretty big. I mean, there's not too many enemies on screen at the same time. I think maybe two, plus the rats. <laughs> I don't think the rats really take up too much CPU time. What are you doing there? You're just going to stand there? Do nothing? Can I can I kick you in the crotch then? Yep, I, well, almost. <laughs> okay. Let's switch it up. Let's try and punch stuff instead, because that's always fun, right? We can do jump kick as well. Let's not forget about... Oh, that. Oh, they do get me sometimes. I wonder if we can get up on top here. Can we do that? We can indeed. I don't think there's anything particularly interesting up here, though. Yeah, it looks really, really, really nice. And as I said, uh, or at least I think I mentioned that, uh, some of the graphics are made by Snatcher. I think he probably did the sprites. It's my guess. Oop. Looks like his style. Ah. Yeah, the controls are somewhat clunky. Sometimes there's just no response for whatever reason. Oh, man, they really put an effort into the backgrounds here. That looks really nice. Okay. Stage one, zone two. All right, good times. And why am I not punch it? Punch, please, sir. Punch. And I would be super duper happy. And it's kind of interesting that they have varying amounts of hit points. But hey, that's just like real life. Oh, God. You look tough and you have a chain. It's maybe time to use my feet. Oh, no, don't. No, oh god, you bastard. You've got plenty of hit points, I think. Nope, he's dead. He's super dead. Sample sound effects are pretty, pretty good too. And why am I not... Hmm. Yeah, that's still a bit weird. Why am I sometimes not doing anything when I'm pressing the button? So that's a little bit annoying. Could be something with the emulation, I guess. Ah, oh, you punk bastard. Don't want to go up there and mess with that guy on the roof. I don't think I do. You can stay there. I hope you can't figure out how to jump down because that would be very, very upsetting. Oh, there's another one. I can, I can out-jump you. Oh, is it actually one of those games I can just jump kick my way to victory? <laughs> well, maybe not entirely. I do like the fact that you can move forward without having to defeat a certain amount of enemies like Double Dragon, I think did that right. That's a little bit annoying that, oh no, you have to kill these enemies before you can take three more steps. Oh, is that a chain? Please. Ah, yes. How do I... Oh, space is used to... Uh, chain people in the face and I think we have oh god eat chain Frank Bruno or whoever that is got extra stuff extra energy I think this guy is pretty damn tough oh maybe not shouldn't go that far forward no 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 don't come any closer you sweaty boxing person I'm going to try and be smart about this. Yeah, take it. Take the chain. Like a big man. Yeah, this is pretty decent for a bra brawler. I mean, I'm not a fan of that type of games. And I don't think I really play that many good ones on my ST either. So this one is actually uh, surprisingly fun. Although a little bit clunky with the controls and the speed. Last hit. Yeah, okay. Okay. Do I need to get him down again? No, I think he's... He's a goner. I think that was the boss for stage one, right? And what is... The, and what does that sign mean? No hamsters? Kind of looks like a hamster, doesn't it? <laughs> or maybe it's a rat. I don't know. And he's still upset about things. Maybe that's me, come to think of it. Yeah. Okay, zone, stage 2, zone 1, and things looks very much like uh, the first... Oh, don't! You have a gun! You bring a gun to fist fight, you bastard! 
and I lost my my chain. Let's just try and uh, jump forward here. <laughs> oh, we can only fire to the left, right? I hope so. No, he turned around. He's figured it out. You can eat my boot. It's not crazy hard either, which I definitely like. Ah, but again, the response from the controls are a little bit funky. Extra time, even. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it's got something to do with the radioact radioactivity level. <laughs> Did read something about that, I just completely forgot about it. Yeah, the jump kick seems a little bit overpowered, as was often the case in many games. <laughs> ah. What was that game called that I played not too long ago? That awful one, that was Human Killing Machine. Yeah, that, oh, that piece of garbage. That you could basically defeat the entire game with the same attack. Not that it made a difference, really. It was a game I really didn't want to whoop, defeat at all. Okay, I think that's, yeah, zone two. Oh god, the rats. I mean, dogs, wolves, whatever that is. Horrific critter. Oh, why are you not? Mm. Again, sometimes nothing happens when I kick. Yeah, my um, jump kick technique certainly works pretty well to get to move forward here. <laughs> but it won't work in every situation. I think that's the Statue of Liberty, right? Come on, move! Why are you not moving? It just freezes sometimes. Maybe he's scared or something, I don't know. Uh please. A definite a bit of slowdown here. Ah, uh, why you... Hmm. Please, just... Ah, uh, okay. Didn't quite work, game over. Well, never mind. I'm thinking we're going to check out stage two just because I'm curious. And of course, we have to reload the game. Oh, balls. So we are apparently in New York and I've got a big whopping gun. That's nice. And we've got a countdown to self-destruction. That sounds like fun. Oh, now the rats are actually not good to my health. Oh, you bastard rats. Let's clean up the place. Let's vacuum this place. Of rats. Hope I don't have limited ammo because that would be terrible. Oh, we've got zombies. This is actually <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> I like that we've got a way to aim in many, many directions. That's pretty damn cool. I didn't see that very often. Not with this many directions, if you know what I mean, right? That's pretty awesome. Oh, God. This is a little bit tough. These guys take a lot of beating or a lot of bullets. We've got naked ladies, well, almost naked ladies in the background there. <laughs> Sample sound effects are pretty cool. Extra something, that's great. And man, Rumblefish. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they really put an effort into the background graphics here. Get away from me, you filthy zombie bastard! Oh! What the hell is that? Some sort of shaved monkey? Yeah, this is actually even more fun. I'm really liking this. This is definitely satisfying. A little bit tricky, maybe, but... Yeah, this is fun. I'm liking this. Death to all shaved monkeys! Maybe I should stop a bit and not move forward constantly. All right, that was something new. Now, you would expect rats to go squeak when they die and not weep, but yeah, not sure why they do that. Maybe they are mutated rats that can talk. Hmm, let's go with that. Ooh. What happens if I use my, oh, I can actually sit down as well. That's cool. Oh, no, 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 please don't go all techie advanced weapons on me here. Barrels? Oh yes, barrels explode. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah, this is... Oh dear, oh dear. That was not very smart of me. Ah, these filthy turrets. They can take many, many, many bullets. Please explode. Oh, new people. Oh God. Yeah, they can take many bullets. <laughs> oh man, this is pretty tough. Yeah, I think we're going to call it quits here. And uh, yeah, this was uh, surprisingly enjoyable. Definitely one of the more fun dynamic games I've played in a very long time. So, hmm, good stuff. And as usual, before we end, let's have a look at a review of the game. The Games Machine gave the game an overall rating of 71% and they wrote Backgrounds are unremarkable and scroll with noticeable yada. Sprites are a little short of color and detail, but are distinctive, cartoon-like and well animated. Sound effects are just a few grunts and groans, but the sampled intro music, though repetitive, is very good. One of average playability and similar gameplay is best left alone. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised that they didn't like the background graphics more because I thought it looked really nice. Also strange that they didn't really seem to be that appreciative of the gameplay because I think definitely this is one of the better dynamic games I've played. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. So guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed as usual and all that stuff and uh, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!